I, it's like, I don't want you to do the it. Man but... of the hour. All right. Oh, Jim, you sound, uh, you sound kind of rustled. What's going down? I, I don't know. Did you send Lewis here to talk to me because I was making fun of some dumb shit? No, I wanted to talk to, to you. Because, you know, Sargon, I noticed you did the same thing with V when he got I pulled didn't. into something I, after, I you, after you told him not to do it. And then he ended up in there. And then you were in the comment section talking. I don't know. That's a little weird. It's a little Jim. coincidental. Jim, I, I talked to my mis friends. Mysteries Jim. of the universe. Jim. Mysteries. I talked to my friends. Is that okay with you? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know if it's okay. I talk to my friends. I don't know. I don't know if I should give you permission or not. Well, Jim. That's the thing that you're going to have to come to terms with, isn't it? So, Sargon, what's with the fucking fart huffing? Well, I think Louis explained it. Well, you, you can explain it because he does. Does he speak for you? Yes, he's my minion. Yeah, he's not yet. Member. He's got to pay me. The check hasn't cleared yet, so I'm waiting. <laughs> Jim, what? Honestly, are you not like watching your own reaction to this? Yeah, all like, I know is I'm making some jokes on Twitter. I get pulled in here. You're in the comment section, yeah, but and you now you're on the to call, come in here, didn't you? I mean, like this is so weird. Like, should we just let the SJWs carry on unopposed? Because it'd be oh my god, cool. Sargon! Yeah, we need the freedom fighter of Sargon of Akkad to go win the West for the world. Uh, we don't, without man. You, Are you saying without you will be in shackles, Sargon? Social justice, buddy. With, without on. you, we'll be in shackles. We need you to save us. Probably this not. Week is Hopefully, stupid. it's the greatest someone. weaponization no, again. That's SJW. the thing. At, at yeah, least he's, at least he wants to do something, and that's <laughs> that's all I think is something. It's all I'm recognizing here is that he's one of the few people that actually wants to try something, and I'm like, good, let's do it. Like, what's that's wrong with that? Great. And that, like I said, funny. I find it funny how he's going about it. And I find the name to be funny. It's the only one I could think of. I mean, it logically makes sense. And it's not already taken. So, you, Why didn't you go with individualist? Because it's a description of what a liberal is. It's, it's a component of liberalism. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, you don't think, I mean, no, no, liberalism Jim, you, is a bit Jim, on the nose. Honestly, honestly when, when someone who understands political philosophy explains to you why, like, being shocked that a group of individualists can form a group, you're going to feel really dumb. I'm, I'm not even joking, man. Oh, it's, my God. Do I need to read more? Do I need to read some more yeah, Locke to get up on your level? To get up on your level and understand things better? It's, it's not like my level. It's just what the things mean. This, this yeah. is pretty basic, man. Like, it, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> It's, it's, honestly, it's why I wanted to talk to you. It's really why I wanted to talk to you. I don't think so, Lewis. What I, what I think Jim, is that you didn't like me making fun of this. And so this is this just comes across as really It's uncool. It's gay. totally uncool, dude. It's, it's, I don't get me wrong, right? I agree with you. It is the lamest fucking thing. You are way cooler than this. And I don't know why you're wasting any of your time on it. Well, because I was invited. The quartering said Lewis wanted to talk. So I was like, all right, I'll pop in. Well, he did. He did. I mean, you know. Yeah. Uh, seriously, though, it's totally fucking lame. I agree mm. with you. Okay. Well, th this was educational, well, Sargon. You go, sure, did you want to tell people sure you're what you did believe? Because I know you're I'm doing sure you're fucking and with, with your SDW and videos. I, I look forward really to you winning the West. Are you running away? I, I said I look forward to you winning the West. I'm giving you congratulations. You I'm you so in your me. camp. That's the thing, isn't it? You agree with what I believe. No, I don't, because I oh, think it's you dumb what you're doing. I think that this organization no, 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 of your YouTube not videos my, not is fucking retarded. Action. Not my method huh? of action, but what, what I believe you agree with, don't you? Okay, list your beliefs off. Let's go down the list. Sure. Uh, I think we should okay. have individual rights. We should have freedom of opportunity. We should have access to markets, personal res responsibility. I mean, are there any mm -hmm. things here that you're disagreeing with? Well, is there anything that specifically nails that down as liberalism? Is it, com you know, like, Compared to conservatism, yeah, political philosophy, current, commonly known as liberalism, yeah, yeah. I'm saying what differentiates what you just said in the vaguest of terms from conservatism. Conservatism is a variant of liberalism. It's like a modern uh, bifurcation of it. But the problem, I don't think you. I mean, you must understand that we're currently facing people who. The, the, I mean, the reason I'm talking about it on these like basic principle level is because the people we're dealing with disagree on the basic principle level and That's what, what people are you disagreeing with because you talked about your enemies in that video so who are your yeah, enemies the sjw's and the alt right any any so the alt, okay, wait no 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 so the alt right is your enemy yeah have you not looked at the way they treat me or did they not treat you kindly do you think they did i i don't know people is talk shit on the internet all the time i, get, I get shit talk right. about on the internet all the time well that's that's good i don't I don't do that as much. You don't get shit talked. No, oh, well, I get shit talked all the time. I just don't spend too much time indulging in it. Oh, okay. So, 
are, are you seriously what, what like what beliefs do, is... do you have that are inconsistent with like well just the sort of classical enlightenment liberalism what do you well, hold okay, okay now this is what i'm more curious about now 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 i'm interested so you're going to counter the sjw's but what I are just you going to do you a question do you mind answering it i'm not going to answer another question i just want you to answer one okay well, what, this is your say, big say theory, your question again say your question again sure what personal beliefs do you hold that conflict with the sort of standard in understanding of enlightenment liberalism well, if you give me some vague definition, I would say none then, right? I mean, we can use vagaries and not get into well, specific policies. Individual rights is great, but give me more okay, to bite okay. into. No, that's a great, no, that's, that's a great that's idea. Because they disagree stuff, with There are loads of people who think that individual rights aren't great. Yes, that's the fucking <laughs> point. Yeah, I'm glad we agree on that, buddy. Oh, okay, fantastic. Now let's get back to my question. You said you're going to counter SJWs, but the alt-right is also your enemy. So yeah. what are you going to do to counter them? Nothing. They're irrelevant. So if they're irrelevant, why are they counted amongst your enemies? Because they people are, they're people who oppose me. Oppose you or liberalism? Me and liberalism. Are you the group? Is it is it like your I, I thing? The group. All right, say that again. You cut out a little. I, I personally am not a group. No. No, no, but you said, you know, I said you define them as our yeah, enemies. I know what you're trying to do. I know that you think this is like, you think that I I'm, I'm asking you really simple questions. You said you our enemies, and you listed them as SJWs and alt-right. And yeah. then when I said, you know, what are you going to do to counter them? You're like, well, they're mean to me. It seems to be specific no, no, to I didn't, you. I didn't say that they were mean to me after you said, what are you going to do to counter them? Um, I, what am I, like, what I'm going to do to counter them is just advocate like they do. Hold conferences, talk to people, try and put across a set of principles that are more positive than, you know what, it's okay to say fuck white people. I think that's a good start, don't you? Sure. Oh, I'm glad, glad we're on agreement there. Because I was honestly wondering that you didn't. I mean, it's like this cool kid. Well, on I, I don't know. I mean, I have been hanging out with Motax adorable. a lot, and he is the king of SJWs. I mean, he does run something awful. I might have gone Sorry, full goon. Too? What's that? Sorry, who was that? I said, I have been talking a lot to Lotex and hanging out with him. I don't know. He's the, the leader of something awful. Maybe I've gone full goon. Maybe I've turned SJW on you. Maybe okay. fuck white people and fuck Trump. Okay. <laughs> I, would, I would love you to stop making content like that. <laughs> but, but Sargon, I, honestly, and I, I don't know if anybody else is going to tell you this, so I'm just going to tell you this honestly. See, I, I, I know what you're going to say. It's cringy. I know. No, no. I, know. I, I just think you're getting a little high off your own ego. Yeah, and the some thing of the comments is, I would agree with you if like everyone wasn't calling me the leader of something and I was like, I'm not the leader of something. And everyone's like, Yeah, you are the leader of something, and now we're gonna act like you're the leader of something. And then I'm like, okay, well, I'll just be the leader of something. And everyone's like, Oh, you can't do that. That's up your own us. I'm just doing what people are telling me that I am, and that's fine. I'd rather not do any of this. I've honestly, I cannot wait to do my shitty video games. You just have no fucking idea how much that calls to me, but at the moment, I I mean. I heard Louis explaining to you like the depth of the problem of SJWs, and I don't think you're ignorant of, of it anyway. And so you're something like acting like this is something I I want to do, and it's really not. I well, really sir, guy, you're not you're, you're you're a proud individualist, right? I mean, you make your own decisions. Why are you letting peer pressure pull you into a direction you don't want to okay, go? You don't know what an individualist means. <laughs> Sorry, I'm saying, why are you letting a group dictate to you what you're doing? Because I'm not like I'm not like a Randian objectivist. I'm not so, an no, anarchist. But Sarga, you're you're telling me with, you like, don't want to so do it. Why are you letting them pressure you into doing it? Because it needs to be done, Jim. That's fucking why, mate. Do you know that they in my country they are teaching four year olds about being transgender or not? Yeah, I can imagine that's probably going on in a lot of places. Do you think that's a good idea. Uh, no, I, I would not think that and was a good maybe, idea. Maybe maybe someone should stay do something, right? But I mean it wouldn't be I wouldn't want to be uncool. So I'm nobody's speaking doing. out against that. Fucking no, mate. Honestly, you get nobody speaking out against transgender four year olds. You will find, I don't know, some conservative politician somewhere who gets roundly lambasted on social media, but they don't know anything about the underlying philosophy. They don't understand any of this. That's, I mean, that's the real issue. You talk about conservatism, Jim, but it's like, yeah, what the fuck is conservatism doing? What have they done other than lose and lose and lose and then get Trump elected and then that's it, at least in the United States context? What are they doing to combat any of this shit? At all. I have no fucking idea. Nothing. My prime minister is a conservative, and the other day she comes out calling for gender equality in the workplace or some shit. It's like, you're not a fucking socialist, bitch. 
You should you're you're the opposite of what you are currently advocating for, at least in name. And it's like, dude, you know, you can sit there and you know, like make fun and go ahead. I don't care. But like to suggest that something doesn't need to be done is weird to me. Mm. I, I don't know. It's just the timing of this strikes me as odd, man. I mean, you you had the the stream with Spencer. And he made fun of you for not being as smart as you think you are. And then the Murdoch Murdoch video came out. That's a bit of an ironic statement, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, true. And then the <laughs> Murdoch Murdoch video came out and mocked you, uh, you know, for literally becoming an Akira baby. Okay. And uh, I'm you sure know, the, very the, the stepfather, reality. the stepfather meme that's going around. And, and, and okay. it's just, it's just weird. It, it almost seems <laughs> like they're they're saying you're too dumb to do this, and like you're doing it just to prove them wrong. Maybe that's why I, I, I should just do nothing. Well, you could I just mean, like, their estimation is very important to me, so feel like I that. guess I should regulate myself accordingly. Is that what you're saying? Well, if you're so easily swayed by other people's opinions, I might as well throw mine out I don't out really there, right? think that's it, because how long have they been saying the exact same things? And like I yeah. said, this, this goes back at least even a couple years of just general, vague, like, antagonism. And it's like... Okay, the, the things that the status quo is not currently working, and the advocates that exist out there that are right leaning or more conservative, the only ones that have any real traction that I've seen are people like Paul Joseph Watson, who aren't exactly, in my opinion, like deep thinkers. Like I watch his channel, I like his channel, I, I like Paul Joseph Watson, and he does have traction, but he's not actually getting into like the real difference in principles to what's going on here between the different sides. He just generally mocks the other side. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's, I don't think it's advancing anything that could actually correct the issue. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, like, like I said, I, Sargon, I, I'm giving you an honest assessment. I think you're getting way too high off your own ego. I, I honestly I do. Hope, Based on your comments and some of your actions. I'm just telling you that. You can take it or leave it. That's up to you. No, but Wait, like, dude, I'm fine. And I, and, I, I, and I think this is cringy as fuck. And I think that if you, you know, perpetuate this for like six months to eight months, the amount of shit you got in the past is going to pale compared to what you're going to get in I the don't future. Think that's you really but like your your little echo chambers aren't everywhere. This is what, the thing. What echo you guys are the... kind of. You, I, I don't know about half of the stuff you're talking about. So, like mm -hmm. you know, the, the, whatever it is you're passing around about me, but like, do you not think that passing that's around weird? about you? Yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, I, I don't care. Like. You know, you guys say whatever you want. I don't mind, like, you know. Well, if you don't know what I'm doing, then how would you know I'm passing around stuff about you? Because you just brought it up. So I'm Murdoch Murdoch now, and I'm Richard Spencer. Have you not, like, retweeted something of his? Well, you wouldn't know, would you? Maybe someone might have sent me something. Oh, so people are sending you information about what I do? Only once. Oh, just, just the once? <laughs> yeah. Okay, and what what was that information you got sent that I was well, doing? The, the, this video of the baby thing, which is I'm sure completely completely reflective of what it is. I believe. Wait, wait a minute, dude! Not, I just said that you put you that video up because of the Murdoch Murdoch thing, and somebody sent it to you, and then you put the video up. So I called that. Sorry, say again. I, I said that you know the Richard Spencer saying you were dumber than you think you are, and Murdoch Murdoch putting the Akira baby video out got to you, and now you're telling yeah. me somebody sent you the information that I tweeted that. And then after you get that information, you put the video up. So I was right. No, you weren't. This is just like, the, apparently you, I haven't watched your last video about crowd, but apparently you were clipping that in a weird way as well. This is, you are, Jim, honestly, it's really weird watching you desperately try to make something of this, but it's actually not. What did I desperately try to make out of crowd, Sargon? What did I desperately you, try to make you, out of crowd? There's a narrative here. I didn't know about any of this. I've been spending. Sargon, you just years. you're like I don't know what you do, Jim, and then you say, "Well, people are sending me information about you, so stop yeah, fucking that lying." That what did I twist about crowd? Really like, Jim, that doesn't give me a comprehensive understanding of the things you're doing. I don't spend very much amount. Of I, time well, I don't know what you're doing, you. Sargon, but people are sending me information about what you're doing. Don't try that pill pull shit that on me, man. Bitch, that is not fucking what you're doing. Bitch, I'm being honest just with you. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know what Jim's up to when people send me information about Jim. Come on, don't lie so badly, Jim. Step it up, Sargon. Are you Step even trying? Are you even trying? Jim, Am I trying what? Look, you're fucking what up left and right. Saying. What the Jim, fuck are you talking saying. about, Sargon? Think about what you're saying. I like, don't know what you're doing, Jim, but people are sending me information about right what you're doing. Just the once. Sure, buddy. Jim, sure. What is the importance of what you're saying right now? Because None you fucking lied, Sargon. Because you lied. so asinine, Jim.
Well, then why, why would you lie about something shit? so petty, Sargon? Wait, well, makes I know, no sense. That's the thing, Jim. You've made this narrative up, and now you're certain you're right. And I'm just saying, you're, you're not right, right man. I was working on the video all day. You you've now like made it up in your head that you're completely correct, and I must be a liar instead of you being wrong. Sargon, you this just is, told Jim. me you don't know what I tweet, and then you told me people send you information. So you do you know what I tweet. to a massive body of work, Jim. A large amount of stuff that's what going around. What the fuck around. are you I'm talking about? A massive body of work. My tweets are what people send you, Sargon. What is it? Why is this a point of contention? Because you lied, Sargon. I didn't lie. I'm just explaining. Yes, you did. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, Jim, but people are sending me information about what you're doing. Seems like a lie to me. Yeah, a tweet, Jim. Okay, then why would you? Why would you lie about it? You think that gives me a comprehensive knowledge of your Twitter history? All I know, dude, is the timing. You got that. You saw the brilliant tweet. timing, you man. Brilliant you, timing. And then you put it the video it on. could be exactly as you say, or it could be how I say, which is I was making the video in the time frame you're thinking of. I don't know, man. I'm sorry that you're not correct on this. Oh, God. Why, why do you do that insufferable chuckle shit when you think you're hang right on, hang about hang something? On. It's so Jesus fucking annoying. Christ, hang on. It's hang so on. played out. You did it with Spencer, too, and it was just oh cringy as God. fuck. Hey. Hang on. Let me let me just say something in in defense uh, of yeah. oh, the the idea of organization or having more live meetups. And Sargon, I know that you can speak to this. That uh, it was probably well over a year ago, or maybe even longer, that you and I had a conversation about what can be done to organize and who could do it in terms of actually trying to do something that could be. Uh, some sort of political activism against the left or what would be the progressive left. Do we not yeah. at least have I, one I conversation? Remember. It was a year ago. I can't remember, man. Well, I, we, I, we, I, I, I don't know. We had a conversation about this a long time ago. To say that the timing is just spur of the moment is not true. This is something that has been discussed for a very long time with different people. Oh, that yeah. One of the real issues is that the voices that are out there, and I could give you an example, Jim, of what yeah. I compare this to. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I forgot what Douglas Murray did prior to him actually speaking out against Islam. I don't remember if it had to do with music or history or what. I can't quite remember. But he had something else that he did prior to him speaking out about Islam. But one of the issues with Islam was, or Islamism, was that no one else would speak out about it. And so then he took the initiative to speak out about it. Would you think that Douglas Murray is cringy because he decided to do something that no one else was doing, or at least not enough of people were doing? Did he brand himself as something when he did it? An anti-Islamist. <laughs> okay, because I mean, that was... He, I mean, he does speak about the actual, the, the real principles and the real values, at least in the UK, that are being lost. I, I Would don't, it be cringy I if he that... called himself something? Would that be cringy? If he came up with some term like liberalist, yeah, it would be. Well, what, what's wrong with? I think he calls himself a neocon. So different from socialist or feminist or what? It's just it makes me laugh, Sargon. Yeah, I know. It's because it's no. Why it's, it makes sad, me laugh? Right? I, huh? I agree, dude. I totally agree, right? And like, look, look can we can we not drop the egos for a minute? Because like, this is something that pisses me off so much. Because everyone everyone is accusing me of being like egotistical, egotistical about all of this, and I'm really not, right? I don't want to have to be doing these things. I'm not interested in these fucking ego matches. And it's it's not like I don't know that you do generally have political sympathies in my direction. And it's fine. It doesn't mean you have to join me. I'm not trying to, like, steal your go-kart or something, because that's really how this is coming across. Like, I understand it's lame to have to do something, to organize something, to stamp something. But if you're not going to do it, Jim, someone's going to fucking have to. Okay, so the, the mantle of leadership was thrust upon you, but you'll you'll take it up. No, it was thrust you, upon you, you, you pussy, and you shut your channel down? Yeah, I left Gamergate because it turned into a fucking hug box of pussies that were money-grubbing fucks that were using it to bank money. Yeah, so that's why I left. something about it, shouldn't you? Uh, well, the whole point during Gate... No, wait, the whole point during Gamergate was there was no leader, Sargon. Yeah, it I It wasn't know. my place I, to step out and, and tell people lost, to get in line. It, it mm -hmm. lost. People have been looking to you for leadership for years. That was and their fucking mistake. I yeah, was very was, clear. Because you're not a fucking leader. You're a coward. I, I was very That's clear. The problem. You, Sargon. You're so afraid to stand for anything. Holy shit, you are so up your own ass. But you're the brave man, right, How Sargon? That's the inverse, up my own ass. This is that's the inverse like, what of what you're saying, is it not, Sargon? That if I'm the coward for not doing anything, you're the brave man for doing no, something. No, no. It's people look to you, Jim, for some kind of 
any kind of leadership. Well, they're fucking take retarded. The- I'm an internet troll. What the fuck are you guys on about? But his We're point was he ran do away. With you man, you That's ran away you from it. You and created yeah, a whole new channel and then opened a Patreon. And you're gonna sit there and try to say to other people that they're fucking sellouts. Did I use money game- oh, no no no? Did I use Gamergate to get fucking dental work done to get a new wheelchair to pay my rent because my no Asian girlfriend kicked did. me out? No, no one's yeah, saying no. So don't compare me opening a Patreon after Gamergate to criticizing people using Gamergate to make money. That's a it's clear not fucking wrong. mistake. It's not wrong what you do. Okay, we're not saying it's wrong. You're the one who's worried about it. I'm not worried about it, but you're trying to make it seem like, oh, that goes counter to what I said during Gamergate. You're saying that he's, people are looking to Sargon for some kind of activism. He says, okay, I'll do activism. And now you're saying there's something wrong with it. I'm saying it's fucking laughable. I didn't, I told you at the very beginning of this conversation, when we started this stream, that I didn't pass a moral judgment on it of being right or wrong. I said, I found it funny and I was laughing at it. Yeah, but you must be just be laughing at the concept of activism then, right? Yes, I, I think people generally that right, describe okay. themselves as activists are fucking retards, yes. I, yeah, okay, okay well, we agree, I agree. Activism is retarded, but unfortunately our enemy is doing it far better than we are. Oh, and, I mean, are you suggesting they're not anti-white male? I think that we can classify them as enemies at this point. I, I mean, Jim, like, seriously, like, these people are changing laws in, in multiple countries, yeah. and it's like you, like... I, I just don't like. I can't understand how you see this as something that is so easily dismissible. But did you know? I think you guys are overestimating stuff? your abilities. You're acting like, oh my god, we're gonna jump in and change the world. You're fucking I, YouTubers. Nobody Come fucking on. said that. Fuck we're probably gonna what? fuck it up. Yeah, and that, so I'm gonna laugh when that happens too. But great, that's great. And when you're not allowed on the internet because you're an alt right male, then it won't be a problem, will it? I, I guess not. I'll laugh about it in person as I relate the story to my children. <laughs> Okay. We'll have a chuckle about it. Yeah. I was the last back. cool kid on the internet, chaps. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him I was the last cool kid on the internet. That's how you feel, though. Everyone can fucking see it. Oh, is that how I feel? Mm. Yeah, this mm-hmm. is something else to run away from. Yeah. So, so what the fuck are you talking about? I'm in the chat right now talking with you. I haven't run away from the fucking stream yet. Yet. <laughs> Come on, man. You you know you shut down your channel because you didn't want to be the leader of Game Game because you were the de facto leader. And Did I explicitly okay. state, Sargon, you're not blind or stupid, I don't need right? you to during, during Gamergate, it, man. Everyone During knows. Gamergate, Sargon, did I not explicitly state that I'm not a leader, that we probably shouldn't have leaders, that people should do what they want to do if you're good at digging dig? If you're good at, what's that? Then if you state it, then people definitely aren't following you. Because, I mean, I've done enough of that myself, and people definitely aren't following me. Is that yeah, how it works? Sargon, it doesn't work like I that. And you know it. Come on, you know it doesn't work that way. Well, Sargon, here's the difference. People tried to force me into the position of leadership. I declined. You gave in. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. You gave yeah. in. Yeah, because I don't want my son because, to brainwash with tranny shit. I don't want them trying to turn him into a girl before he's even 10 years old. Yeah, I'm a fucking pussy that way, Jim. I think there's more involved than just you being forced into the position. I think you like it a little bit. No, I fucking hate it. I've, I've literally for years been saying consistently, I just want to make my shitty games. But unfortunately, Jim, I can't just stand by and let this go on. And if no one else is going to do it, who the fuck's going to do it? Here's the thing, Jim. Wouldn't it be easier for him to just continue making like stupid, lame, anti-feminist videos and not do live events or anything? Wouldn't that be a lot easier? He already I makes a no, lot I of I have features. no idea. I, I don't easy? do live events. Okay, I, don't well, know I can, how I can let you know it would be way easier. Well, you seem to organize this week and stupid in a live event pretty easily. Yeah, that's because I'm pretty good at organizing stuff, actually. Right, so it's not difficult. For me, for other people, right. and it's only be- and it's not that it's not difficult, it's just I'm good at that. You're good at organizing. I seem to organize This Week in Stupid pretty easily. Well, yeah, no, I'm talking about events. That was an event. Yeah, so I mean, you're good at doing that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm pretty good at organizing, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but you're you're also saying that it's difficult to do this kind of stuff, but if it's easy for you, it wouldn't be difficult, would it? (laughs) But would it be demonstrably easier to just make videos at home and then collect that Patreon? Do you even understand, like, it's not, it's relative. If someone can have a skill at something that is difficult, and so for them it's less difficult. I mean, this is, like, levels of pedantry I can't even begin to describe, and you know... That you think that what we're doing is actually ultimately going to be beneficial. 
No, I don't. I think it's fucking goofy as shit, man. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah, at it. it is goofy as shit. That's why, man. I I fucking cringe at the idea of going on stage. It was really difficult. It was, and the thing is, like, it wasn't the room. Obviously, the room we were fucking thrilled that I'd gone on the stage, but I fucking hated it because I never want to be the sort of fucking guy who sits there on a stage talking to people. I really don't. I totally understand where you're coming from, but unfortunately, I really think we're at a point where no one else is addressing this satisfactorily. And even if it's not fucking perfect, okay, I just want to make it good enough and I want to try and improve things. I'm just at that point now, man. <sighs> it just comes across like a savior complex. Like, I, if I, I don't understand. do it, nobody else is going to do it. I yes. have to save but the But again, I'll, I'll, I'll save the I'm going to press you on that. I'm going to press okay. you on that as well. Go back to Douglas Murray. Again, apply the same thing to him. Do you think that he's a I fucking I don't give a fuck off? about Douglas Murray one way or the other. Sure, why not? Sure, he, why not? He had a savior complex. Why not? Is everyone who wants to try and fix things someone with a savior complex? When you frame it in the way that if nobody else does it, I have to do it because nobody in the world is fighting this issue. It has to be me. But again, it's the truth is, is that people, the people that are out there, the conservatives that are out there that do not agree with the people that are on the left, they are doing fucking nothing and they have no efficacy. They, they aren't changing shit. So you guys are going to go out and change the world. I never try. It will be an attempt, yeah. I don't, know we're gonna be I don't know whether we're going to be successful, but we're going to have to try and change something. Oh, man. <laughs> the SJWs did it, man. They changed the world. You know, it's not like all, all it is is ideas. All we just have to do is make convincing arguments and persuade people that maybe, just maybe, getting a child to self castrate is a problem. Would it be wrong, even in the end, of if the, the, the best we can do or the best Sargon can do? is to influence politicians to whatever degree that is possible is that is oh, that dude, terrible oh, dude. <laughs> okay <laughs> why why is that crazy because I mean, that like, sounds so dumb hey this youtuber is going to influence that's politics, politics. Dude, it's yeah, that's, politics. That's, that's that's just egotism come on no, guys it's not. come it's on politics. Jim, you're Jim, so listen. Fucking I, ridiculous. No, Jim, it's actually really, really likely. I mean, there's an MP in the Britain called Philip Davies. He already speaks at MRA conferences. Right. Well, PewDiePie He's had what parliament. fifty million subs. He still got shit on by the press, right? He's at a level way beyond so you. Fucking what? Yeah. So, so what? Like, what if is you, the press? You can influence do? politicians. Why isn't PewDiePie's you know spiel about what how the New York Times is treating him, how the Wall Street Journal was treating him? Why That's didn't a that political platform. Him? That's policy. That's an actual argument against anything other than fuck the press. Okay. It, it, this is just, no seriously this, seriously. Whole, this whole thing is absurd. I don't know how you two don't see there, that. There are already MPs who are engaging with YouTubers and things, and even smaller groups. I don't understand why you think this is a big deal. I, again, I find it funny, and I think the way you guys are looking at this is just way too serious and way too up your own asses, and it's got a tinge of egotism to it. I'm giving you my assessment. I mean, you you can take it or leave it, but no, that's no, no, how it appears to me. Okay. That's really how it appears to me. I'm not, okay. you know, fucking screwing with you. I'm telling you how it really I, appears. I believe you 100%, man. And this is the thing, right? I, I don't actually think you operate from bad intentions. I know there are a lot of people who think that because you're just like you know, the king shit lord. But like, I don't think you actually do, you know? Like we like the drunken thing you posted back to V. I was like, oh, that's actually kind of nice. Look at that. He does have a heart. But, um, but yeah, I believe that's your honest intention. Man. I believe that's your honest assessment. And I appreciate you giving me it, you know, because I appreciate, you know, I know it's going to be fucking cringe. Hey, I'm going to get up here and tell you how things should be. Man, I don't like the sound of that. But the, re the reason why, the reason why I wanted to talk to you, Jim, to begin with is because I, 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 like I said, to begin this, I like you. I like your channel. I follow you. I have for a long time. I care about what you think. And if that's fucking lame of me, then fine. It's lame of me. But the reason there's a reason why I'm talking to you and not anybody else at the moment. And what would that reason be? I mean, there's got to be other people that you he like that think this your is intelligence. Cringy. That's the reason. You guys just went on about how I don't understand these terms and I really don't you get don't. it. So, what and intelligence you are you respecting? Know, and that just makes you uneducated. Oh, I'm uneducated. I need to read you more. What, just what, said, what intelligence do you do you like then in me? The fact that you, dude, know, I'm you're talking an incredibly to, to good critical thinker, and I, I totally understand why you would take the name Mr. Methodical. You know, you have a very good style. You, you do your work very well. 
that that just actually uh, it's not it's not Mr. <laughs> it's not Mr. Methodical. That was that was that's a joke. It just translates to, it? it translates right. to that in Turkish. I, I, I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> Medicare was spelled by a retarded man that couldn't spell mediocre properly. That's what oh, the really? Name really? Is from. Yes. Is that where it originally from? I didn't know that. It, a literal it. retard couldn't spell mediocre and it came out as Medicare. The Turkish <laughs> translation was a convincing author story, a different story. Yeah, I would have stayed with it. I would have just yeah, said, yes, <laughs> because, because people are stupid and they'll believe a lot of dumb shit. Yeah. Yeah, but that was actually, you know, it was, it was convincing. But um, that that's what makes it funny. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. But um, but yeah, the, the the reason that people like look up to you is because you are an intelligent man. Not knowing the definition of one word. I mean, don't get me wrong. The alt right have demonstrated they don't either. So you're not alone. You know, it's just like I don't understand. Like, how are you okay with what the SJWs are doing? Do you think it, it would be better to be like not lame than try and stop them? Well, Sargon, I don't understand how you standing in front of an audience in person rather than making a YouTube video is going to have any difference when it comes to dealing with SJW. Saying a blue-haired feminist is it an idiot. Does. Uh, on, it does. Okay, how does it? How does it translate? How does that? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. But Thomas Smith. So how do you know it stage. does? Anita Sarkeesian triggered the fuck out in VidCon after me just sitting there, dude. It apparently really matters to them. So you're you're planning on counter protesting? You're going to go to their events? Sometimes. I'm definitely going to host my own, though. And if they want to come to mine, they're more than welcome to come to mine. Dude. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? Uh, good luck to you. I, I still think it's a monumental mistake. I think it's going to end sure it is. And, and badly. It's cringy as shit. And I, I dude, I, I think you're getting a little too high off your own ego. I'm, I'm telling I'm you sure that. You I'm telling you that straight up. Thank you. I, I don't think V would tell you that for some reason because he likes you too much. He would. <laughs> he absolutely would tell me that. Okay. Think so we'll we'll just we'll just disagree on this, I guess. I I, I don't know how don't else to put think it. There's a disagreement. I agree with everything you said. It is all of those things, but I don't think I'm being egotistical. But I'm not perfect. I mean, you maybe you know I'm trying not to be. Well, wait. Better. If if you agree with me, then why would Lewis pull me in here to ask me about it? Because everything I've said apparently Lewis. he's the one who. Lewis, to Lewis what uh, Sargon agrees with me. So the, the reason why I pulled you in here is because, like I said, I care what you believe, and I thought I was actually surprised by how. I, I don't know, like just amenable. You've been. You, you were just. I, I don't know, like I said, like the, you just seemed to misinterpret what the video was, and then just ran with it. And I well, just. I mean, but, but Lewis, Lewis. Apparently, I didn't misinterpret it because everything I've just said, I was tweeting no, from out. From my, my perspective, you did. If yeah, he well, wants to disagree, just told you he agrees with well, me. I, I, I agree with you, like of the social perception, but like on the technical definition of terms, you you're wrong. Yeah. On what? Uh, on the technical definition of cringy? No, individualist. Uh, okay, putting that aside, my main thing was it's I was laughing at it, calling it absurd. It was really was the that. point. Yeah. You don't think that uh, you you actually uttered the phrase a group of independent-minded individualists coming together with yeah. an enemy list and a set yeah. amount of goals? You want to yeah. you know uh, you want to organize as a political group? Yeah. I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah absolutely. So that wouldn't be collectivism. No, collectivism oh. is the principle of putting the value of the group above the individual. I, exactly. So what I'm saying is, could I call myself a liberalist once you've established this and go around telling people that as a, an official liberalist, our party policy is gassing kikes? No, obviously not. So I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to yield to the group's will. No, you would just be using the, pr the term incorrectly. It's like saying, I'm, I'm a fascist, but I don't want the government. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, make me if, if the group is establishing norms that you have to follow, it would be a collective, would it not? It it's would be a group. a group. It wouldn't be collectivist. You're trying to combine the words, and yeah. that's not accurate. Jim, you, you can't play this word game. It just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It, this, this is what I'm saying. You're just using the term incorrectly. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm really not. Okay, so you're going to create a, a large group of individuals that's not a collective, that's going to come together with a no, goalist and a no, political party no, ideology. It is a group. Okay. Jesus Christ. I said a, a group, a group of individuals that's not a collective. No, every group is made up of individuals. Not every group is made up of individualists. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what I'm no, saying, no, no, that's that... No, I don't. I, I'm literally saying... Okay, you Sargon, you're going account. to create a group of individualists, okay, yes. that's not a collective, yet has, no. you know... Well, so it is a collective? Why don't define collective for us? Because maybe we've got a different definition to you. Well, you're talking about uh, two different things, right? So a collectivist would be somebody that adheres to the group will, or the group will overrides their individual rights. So my individual right as an individualist would be, what, free speech, 
free association. Yes. Yes. So I could go out and say I'm a liberalist and we want to gas the kikes. And you, as another liberalist, couldn't say I'm wrong because you would be I, what, I, I using absolutely the group. That would definitely be going against the principles of liberalism, yes. The principles set by who? It's like a socialist saying I'm for, I'm for private property. I mean, you can say it, but that doesn't make you a socialist. Oh, it's it's my. weird how you, like, things have definitions and definitions do matter. I know, I know what you're trying to do, but it just doesn't work. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I think it works just fine. I find this funny, like I've told you. I, I and I know being... that you don't see it as that, and you're going to set out as no, a group you're of just individualists. Being obtuse. It's not a collective. You're just really being obtuse. And oh, I'm, I... I'm being obtuse. But yeah. you'll have to yield, though, to me on Lewis, what I said about this being cringy shit. Sargon agrees, so it is, right? Cringy shit? Totally. No, totally. I don't. Doing something in the real world is totally cringy shit. I agree. <sighs> oh, okay, now you're being sarcastic about it, so you weren't genuine no, earlier. Not, not. It's real cringe. I swear to God, I'm going to hate it. And, you know, in, in like, you know, if, if, say, it went for, like, five years, I probably would become everything you're thinking of, so don't be afraid to do a fucking video on me if I am actually doing it. Because oh, I okay. will need so, to Lewis, be if Sargon is telling you this, he's the guy that made the video, so it is cringy shit, yes? Like I said... I just I just I, want to hear I, you, you say can, it. You can, you can believe that. That's fine. I don't care. I well, think Sargon, that, no, Sargon believes that. Do you believe from in Sargon? From point of view, Jim, I do think you will find this to be cringy shit because you find any kind of like positive statement forward to be cringy because mm -hmm. I think you're hyper aware that anything could be criticized and you're really afraid of being criticized. I don't care whether you think it's cringy. I, I just want to start trying to fix things. Just push back on No, anything. no, and I get that. I, I'm not trying to pull you back into this discussion. I just want Lewis's opinion. If Sargon is I, saying like this is said, cringy shit, that's he's fine. Video. He's fine. He can believe that. But the but, thing is, is that I, I if you want to ask me if I do take this seriously, seriously? then yes, I yeah. do. Yeah. I think this is something that's necessary. It doesn't, it, it could be him or somebody else. It doesn't matter to me. It's just as long as somebody's doing it. And I actually know that they're going to put forward some actual. You know, philosophy that may contradict or may have some efficacy against the people that are out there that want to basically just take the Constitution and put it in a shredder. You know, this this is very serious. I mean, Richard Spencer said, "Oh, it's just a piece of paper." The far left. Did you see the one? I think it was from California, where they're like, "We we think that's an outmoded document or something." And it's just like, "Holy fuck, dude! These people are lunatics, and they want to tear down everything that I hold dear." It's awful. Right. Um, okay. Is there anything else to discuss, gentlemen? No, if you gotta go, you gotta go. No, I, I don't have to go. I'm just asking. I, I gave you a lot of time. If you, if you, if you want to head off, man, just head off. I yeah, know. If you, you said you had a time limit. Yeah. Well, I told you I had an hour, but we've got a few more minutes. Is there anything else you wanted to discuss before I go? Uh, I no, other than if, uh, if, uh, Sargon, uh, hosts an event of some kind, if it's anywhere near you, you should go. I, no, I'm, I'm, I'm very anti that. Uh, Milo, when he was up in my area, wanted me to come to attend one of his like university speeches. Did he? And I, I tried to explain to him that you know I don't really do that kind of shit. I don't go to like VidCons or I think there's Kilroy's a little bit of difference or any of that why, shit. But though, why not? And I genuinely mean like, why not? I, I'm not going to go into real life activizing. I'm sorry. No, no, I just, I just mean not like activism. I mean specifically, why can't you just go to attend? Because I'm pretty sure if you if you said you were going somewhere, there'd be a oh, ton yeah. of people there to meet you. Oh, yeah. You you would see what I'm talking about, Jim. You would no, see no, you're you're about. misunderstanding. My philosophy behind being on the internet has always been anonymity. I don't want to meet okay. people in real life. That kind of runs counter to what I do. Yeah, I fair know. enough. Imagine if you did. What do you think the people would be like? I, f I have no fucking idea. Oh, I, come when on, I did dude, when I when I did deviance. Well, let me answer. When I did deviance, I had a bunch of furries that found it funny, a bunch of war fetishes that found it funny. I probably have people yeah. showing up with bike pumps to shove up their ass. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole diverse mixture of people. I have no idea what you, would show up. You are not making a good case against a Metica meetup. I know you aren't. It, that it's is a never really good happen. idea. I'm just saying, it, if, if one happens, you're getting a ball pit. And you're going in it. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm never going to host a real-life event. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, come on, Oh, dude. my God. You're such Fucking a Fucking God, no. Come on, man. Do it. It'd be amazing. No, I, I, think, I think I'm good on the <laughs> oh, Metica meetup. In real that's life, I don't bad. think that's ever going to happen. That's, that's, just, that's genuinely too bad, dude, because that, that would be awesome. Because out of all the people that I would genuinely li like to meet, you would definitely be at least in my top ten. Just, just, <laughs> just Why? Just to shake your hand, just to fucking meet you, dude. Just yeah, like, but I'm just, I'm just a dude that puts videos up on YouTube. Like, what is there to meet and talk about? Nothing. Oh, it's just it's for the gym. sake of it. It's just for the sake of it. Doesn't yeah, have but to see, be Sargon, I said no.
Welcome to my world. Bitch, do you not think I spent years saying no? You could have oh, spent a few more saying no. You gotta Sorry? be you gotta be made of steel, Sargon. Uh, like how many? How uh, do, like when when the special laws come into place? Is that when? W at what point is it acceptable for for Sargon to be an activist? Like how far to think? How much? Well, worse no, I mean, I genuinely think, think if he doesn't want to do this, if he's being honest and he really doesn't want to do it, it's going to end badly. If you're not into it, if you don't have your heart, oh, 100%, I'm, I'm committed. I'm absolutely committed. Yeah, but if you're forced into it, it's just it'd be awful. It'd be like making content that you don't want to make. It'd be like making a video you didn't want to make. You know how tough that can be. Mm -hmm. But I mean, imagine it on the scale of people yeah. showing up to events and shit. No, the thing is, there's a lot of energy when you go to events. It's always really yeah. cool. People are really happy to be there. But the thing is, what I mean, even is, if it is seriously, if it, even if it is a serious event, there's still a reverence to it of meeting yeah. people. I mean, it's not like I don't want to meet people and do. I like, I love my job. My job's amazing. But like, I wouldn't be doing it unless I had like a giant overarching incentive to do it. You know, I it, given the opportunity, I'd rather just be a fucking lazy neckbeard in in my basement making shitty video games. I that would be yeah. But what, what's the incentive, though? I mean, what's there to do it in real life as opposed to just online? Positive change. I'm fix the future for my kid, man. You know, I I just cannot get over like how much this shit has infected my country. You are so lucky in America. You have no fucking idea how insulated you are from so much of the bullshit that's going on. Don't ever let them take any kind of hate speech law. Don't ever. And any American listen to this. Whenever they say hate speech, you tell them to shut the fuck up. It's free speech. Every time. You, you got to. Your second amendment or whatever it is with your fucking life. You know, I promise you, you will regret it if you don't. You got to admit, Jim, I mean, I, I, I don't know if you've been paying attention too much to what's going on with Count Dankula, but you have to admit that that kind of shit is fucking insane. Like the way that they're stringing him along. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, shit. I, I understand that losing your rights over in Europe probably is tough, but you've got the yes, caliphate to look forward to. So, but, that, but that's why. Like, I'm afraid of that. I'm afraid I'll, I'll of just that have happening to be here. A lame -o and just get out and try and do something. <laughs> you know? Well, you can always convert. You can become one of the, uh, you know, the new members of the caliphate that's going to take over. God, oh, you Jesus. Or something. Jesus, listen to yourself. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to be. I'm going to be manning the fucking helicopter squadrons. Are you? Are you going to go out and fight in the streets? <laughs> If it came to, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't want to, and I'd be terrible at it, you know. But that's, it's anti-far, but that, isn't it? So. But but that's the thing, though, is that the right, honestly, that's been one of the only effective things they've done yeah. is showing up in the fucking streets. Because uh, I don't, I don't think, know. I don't think Charlottesville went very well for them. No, mm -hmm. I'm not talking about Charlottesville. I, well, they I were mean, in the streets on that one. I'm and talking they, about Berkeley. Berkeley. Yeah, Berkeley I'm talking Berkeley about was essential, in fact. But that's the, I don't think we want to really settle this. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it would be good YouTube fodder, but I'm not sure we want to fucking have this settled in the streets. You know what I mean? No. Like, no, no, no. I, I would much rather just have the police do their fucking job. I mean, you in, in my country, right? When they discovered the Rotherham rape gangs, after the investigation, I can't remember the name of the doctor offhand, but uh, she did this big investigation and basically she just came back saying they're afraid of being called racist. That's why they let it go on. Imagine you're a police officer, you burst into a home, you find a drugged up 13 year old and a bunch of 20 something Muslim Pakistani men, and then you take the girl and accuse her of being a prostitute. That's what police in my country have done because of fear of the word racist. No, I, I've seen the news reports. Same yeah, with so, uh, Cologne yeah. on New Year's. I've, I've seen all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, Pakistan so, has so, me yeah. about it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> he fucking hates me. I don't even know why he hates me. I don't know why half these faggots hate me. Dean Esme doesn't like me. Uh, one of the guys that showed up to you this week in Stupid is really up my ass all the time. The fucking oh, puppet guy. Oh, he's not up your ass all the time. Oh, he fucking is. He takes these <laughs> passive-aggressive snipes because he's a pussy. <laughs> you should debate him, though. He's a, he's a lovely guy. Him. I've offered him 20 times. He's refused oh, really? every time. That's Honey badgers won't thing. get involved. They won't host a stream. No, it's never happening. Man, that's, that's, that's a shame because Random Cam, is, he's one of my favorite people on the internet. He's, he is oh, a lovely gosh. guy. Is he? Yeah. He really hates it when you say autism for some reason. Yeah, I think he's autistic. That's why. I, I think that's probably what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Because he went on a guy. fucking two week tirade about that with me. Yeah, I know. He uh, he's called me up on it as well. I'm just more forgiving, obviously. Well, hey, you know, I'd love to debate the guy. If you want to try to set that up, feel free to. But he will not respond when I've offered. Well, I mean, he's not like. He runs a YouTube channel, and he, he's a performer, but he's one of those people who's very introverted in conversation. And you're not. <laughs> right. 
Yeah, but you know, you, you got to admit, you got to admit, fucking uh, Jim, that you, you, when it comes to you having conversations with people, that you're pretty fierce. Yeah. You, you really don't hold back, and you, you, I, I think that out of all the people that I've heard online, in terms of like articulation and needling into people, you're probably the absolute fucking best. I, I just, it, it, it's just the internet. I just talk to whoever the fuck shows up. I mean, I did a stream with a uh, fucking white nationalist. I've done streams with BLM communists. Like, I don't understand the fear of interacting with people, which is, I, I think, no, weird, no, specifically, is, there's an, there's a fear of interacting with you because you, know you know how to rip people apart and you're very effective at doing it. Uh huh. That's why well, I, 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 you know, I, I promise to be nice to Dr. Random or Cam. I'll be a gentleman with Dr. Random or Cam. If, I think that's, I, mean, I think that's bullshit. <laughs> I promise not to raise my voice and make him piss himself. He's not like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, he's very passive aggressive and he won't just directly confront you, which I think is weird. Like if you're a men's rights activist, you should act like a man. But apparently that's not happening. I'm not sure that that's... I, I don't think that necessarily follows, actually. Well, yeah, I think he's being a passive-aggressive little bitch and acting like a woman by refusing to directly confront what he has a problem with. That's my assessment. Yeah. But I, again, I, 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 know that's being, I know that's being mean. I won't be like that, Doc. No, 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 Dr. Radford, if you hear me, I won't be thing. like that on stream with you. To, to me, that would be a provocation. But to him, I don't think that's a provocation. That's the thing. I, I don't know. I can't read the guy. He just... We won't interact. Well, I'm just saying as a person who knows him and likes him, you know, but um, anyway, you know, maybe one day he will, maybe one day he won't, who knows, but um, anyway. Uh, I, would, I look forward to it with bells on. I, I would enjoy that too. All right. Well, I, like I said, I had about an hour. I, I got to jump. Uh, if there's anything else. No, I'll just say uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for, you know, having the conversation with me. Thanks for Sargon for jumping in with you. Yeah, no and uh, I look forward to what you do in the future, Jim. Yeah, like I said, I think this is a difference in philosophy between us. Like, I, I, again, Maybe. I, I think it's I, just it's personal uh, priority when it comes to Internet and real life. I think it is like I, I like I said, I'm more on the side of just be anonymous and do shit rather than go into real life and do activism. That's why yeah, I find it funny. that's that's fair if you can afford to do that. OK, fair enough. All right. Well, uh, you two take it easy. Uh, Sargon, uh, Sargon, no need to get intel reports on me. You can always hit me up. I'm, I'm always <laughs> really available to shit talk you in person. Whatever about you, if that's okay. By the way, like, <laughs> when you're doing the cross stuff, you could have just messaged me on Skype. You could. Just yeah, well, I, I tried to stay away from all the people involved, and it crowd tried to get a hold of me, um, yeah. and I just didn't want to engage. I guess I just wanted like an outside perspective on it. Uh, oh, okay, he he like, asked. He asked one thing of me, which I I did because I had no intention of doing it in the first place, which was leave his family out of it. Because like, uh, yeah, I mean, they had nothing to do with it, so why even bring them up? It'd be like bringing yeah. up Jeff well, Hardy's family. Obviously. Like they have yeah. nothing to do with any of that shit. Yeah. But like, like you know, you were like, why did I want to record the conversation with Crown? You could have just messaged me, and I'd have told you. Well, why did you want to record it? Because it was very. Because weird. I was going to do a podcast and talk to him about it, and then the, I mean, you can hear it in the stream. He just lies to my fucking face. Oh no, he lied to you a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I know, and I, I know, and I was just like, right, okay. And then I think I think it was my kid was calling for dinner or something. So I was like, I'll call you back later. But I was sat at dinner and I was fucking fuming, man. I was just like, I can't believe you just lied to my fucking face. And I just never called him back. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's one of the things I said after I did the videos. The thing that really got to me about Kraut in particular was his like willingness to basically use everybody uh, around him and throw them under the bus. I mean, he lied to he lied to and about you, Thunderfoot, Jeff Holiday, Zeph, just like anybody you could get his hands on. Even Spinosaurus turned him down when he was like, yeah, here, you want to take this information and give it to your SJW friends to do something with. And he's like, yeah, we don't do that. Which is just fucking surreal, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. I, I, like I said, I I was just so pissed off that he'd lied to my fucking face, man. It's like, I mean, I knew he'd been digging stuff up, but I didn't know he'd been using the server because every time he'd tell me about the server, he'd be like, hey, do you want to join my server? We're doing science stuff in there. And I was like, no. I mean, he literally never said anything else about it. So I assumed that that's what he was doing. And I assumed that the digging up was something he was doing in his personal time or something. You know? It's just like, why are you doing this, Kraut? Just stop doing this, man. I, I, actually, I am curious about one other thing. Uh, I did bring this up on stream a couple of days ago. Sure. Um, when you talked to Kraut, you said, you know, like, digging up stuff and using it against people, it's morally wrong. It's not what we'd call morally right. You had a problem with that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, Kraut had this information. He said he shared it with you. You acknowledged that he was talking about doing this kind of stuff. He shared that he had information with me. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, if it was morally wrong for him to do it, why did you make a video on CRP and show his Kiwi Farms thread with all his information? No, oh, because it was already out there. I mean, he'd already doxed himself. It's not hiding anything, is it? 
Yeah, but that information was Crowd's. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, because Crowd had a proxy of a proxy put that up on Kiwi Farms. Well, I had no idea. Everyone was just passing around this Kiwi Farms link. I had no idea where it came from. And it, it, I thought it was King of Pole anyway. Yeah, Guardian gave it to King of Pole, and Crowd gave it to Guardian, and Guardian well, had I his own do an investigation in it, so it's, uh, it's good to know how it came, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I, I just found it kind of weird, I guess. Um, I mean, if it was personal information, that, or if it was public information already, you don't find it morally wrong. No, no, not if it's already public. Okay. Just, just private information. Yeah, I think so. But what if somebody's trying to, you know, like hide their name, like me, right? Most people don't know who I am. So would it be morally wrong to use my name? I'm sure you could find it. It's probably publicly out there. I don't know. Everyone uses my my name publicly, and I don't find that morally wrong. So I don't know. Probably not. What about kids? What about whose? The kids, children. No, I wouldn't be interested in finding a kid's name. But I mean, if it's public, it's not morally wrong, yeah. Well, I mean, on the face of it, it might not be, but there's probably some moral ill intent there. I think. Okay. All right. Yeah. What that, kind that's of what I wanted to wants to dox a kid. Because I wasn't sure exactly what Crowd gave you, but uh, from the tapes, it made it sound like he gave you the information he'd gathered on Code. She was bragging about having his name and some other information. And then when he talked, and you know, he also talked to you about, uh, I don't know if Ryan's full name's out there. I'm just going to call him Alt Hypothesis. I mean, you brought him up too. I, th I think so, his name is out there, yeah. So, like, how did you know Crowd had that information? Because he'd say, I found Coach Red Pill's name or something. And I'd be like, there's no point in finding out Coach Red Pill's name. Right, right. No, I, I get you. So, I mean, if the, but that, that goes back to, I guess, my original question. Uh, if there's no point in it, why did you include it in your video about him? Well, the docs of Coach Red Pill. Yeah, I mean, if there's no point in digging up this information, why use it? Because it was pertinent to the subject at hand. Which was Coach is a con guy. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah, making he, nothing he but character up, attacks against me, which is ironic given the state of this man's character, don't you think? Okay, like I said, I'm just trying to get a feel for what went on. Well, there we go. Because I, I, it struck me as weird that you tell him it was morally wrong for him to do it, but then seemingly kind of do the same thing. I didn't, though, did I? No, that's why I'm asking you to make the distinction of what exactly he shared with you. Okay, well, there we go. All right, all right, guys. Well, I, like I said, I got a jet, but uh, it, <laughs> it's been interesting. I'll say that much. It all right, take it easy. Take right, care, uh, Yeah, uh, take it easy, guys. Bye. All right, so I think that was... Um somewhat productive considering the way it could have gone when you guys were screaming yeah. at each other i thought for a second that that may have been uh not as productive but i do <laughs> i do still think that it actually helped he knows that he's not correct on the individualist thing he's not an idiot i refuse to believe he's an idiot you know it's okay to not understand the word because it's it is a like you know it's an ideological word it's been defined in a certain way you know it's okay to not understand that you know but, um hon honestly though i do think he's just Trying to play the coolest kid around. It's like, okay, Jim, you're the coolest kid around, buddy. Yeah, like I, like I said, he he was a little bit too obtuse, and it had to be yeah. intentional. Like the the whole continuous uh, like use of the word collective that's intentional. Yeah, you okay. don't have to use that word. Just use the word group means the same thing. Still a group of individualists. But um, anyway, yeah, I don't see the point carrying on the stream. Now. Yeah, thanks for sure dropping by. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah, see you, man. So uh, now that the two people are now gone, uh, I'd like to thank Jim once again for stopping by. And uh, thanks to Jeremy for uh, sending me, or sending uh, Jim, rather, the link. Uh, uh, Jim, or excuse me, Jeremy is uh, Unsleeved Media. For those unaware, I, I messaged him on Skype because uh, I wanted to get in contact with Jim to talk a, to him about this issue because... I saw him tweeting about this for hours and it was bothering me. And I just said, you know, I just wish he would come on and, you know, we could at least talk about this because I think he's going way too far and he's, he's not being honest about what the issue is. Um, I mean, it's, it's fine to say it's cringy, but I still don't think that, you know, he has any kind of real solution to the issue. Um, it's okay to just, you know, to shit on something or whatever, but it's not enough to, 
you know, it, it, like the thing is, is that I, I know that Jim wants things to get better. I, I know that he genuinely wants these things to change. It's not just all a laughing matter to him because I can remember him getting at times incredibly angry about these issues. So if you're capable of getting incredibly angry about these particular issues, you genuinely care. And to laugh it all off, I know that that's not authentic. So that, that was my real issue. And that's why I brought him on. So thanks again for Jim for stopping by. And thanks for uh, Sargon for dropping in at the last second for messaging him on Skype. But I'll, uh, I'll conclude it there. Thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Um, and hopefully, you know, I could facilitate some actual conversations like this in the future. All right, thanks.